Hey guys, um, morning again. Um, yesterday our luck didn't work, didn't favor. Actually, we were in the queue for the Eiffel Tower ticket and it was like a two and a half hour of queue. And by the time we reached the counter, they said the access to the top floor is closed. Right now for the day, we have some different plans and we are actually, um, well, I can give you a small uh, sneak peek. Uh, so our main plan today is the Loop Museum, but before that we will visit some other place as well. So come with us. Hi guys, right now we have come to a really cool place which is actually influenced by the Greek architecture as you see here, the, the different buildings inside, they are really uh, you know, influenced by Greek architectures. But I thought of going to the last building, uh, the last architecture which is known as the Pantheon that houses a crypt of different French figures, uh, for example Voltaire, Victor Hugo and the most famous Marie Curie. So why wait? Let's get, get inside and see how it looks. Pantheon meant the temple of all the gods and was initially built as a church dedicated to Saint Genevieve. The primary purpose of constructing this building was to keep the reliquary containing the remains of the most honored saint of those times. But unfortunately, it changed to a secular mausoleum and now houses the remains of prominent French citizens. This heritage is in the heart of Paris and invites thousands of visitors to enjoy the alluring display of classical architecture. The building is truly impressive with a ground floor hall filled with columns and works of art. On its side walls you can see huge canvases and sculptures that combine religious and republican elements with painted frescoes, mosaics and paintings depicting Saint Genevieve, key moments of French history and scenes from the revolution. The Pantheon has a stunning art collection that could put some museum to shame.
This is where the great men of the country are buried. Personalities who distinguished themselves in various fields making France proud. Great names of science, art, politics and the army are buried here. Walking through its galleries, one can recognize tombs such as those of Pierre and Marie Curie, physicists, Louis Braille, creator of the reading system for the blind, Jean Jacques Rousseau, philosopher, among others. Here, what you see on both the walls are the names of all the people who have been buried here. So guys, how did you like it? I hope you enjoyed it. Now, we are en route to visit the most famous lady in Paris. At least I have been waiting for it since very, very long. I hope you can guess it too. It's Mona Lisa. What are you guys waiting for? Join us. The Louvre Museum in Paris is a symbol of the evolution of French culture in all its glory. Situated on the bank of the river Seine, the museum is an astounding structure that has been standing tall for centuries and has witnessed both war and peace. Generations of viewers have been left in awe due to its sheer size and extraordinary collections. It is the most visited museum in the world followed by the National Museum of China. It reached the status of being the most visited museum in 2018 when it crossed the 10 million visitor mark. Along with being the most visited museum in the world, the Louvre Museum is also the largest museum in the world as its galleries span over 15 acres. You would be surprised to know that the history of the Louvre dates all the way back to 1190 when it was constructed as a fortress by King Philip II of France to protect the city from outsiders. You would also be surprised to know that the Louvre was emptied during the World War II. As soon as the conquest began, the assistant director of the French National Museums foresaw that Louvre needed to be protected. Ten days before the war was declared, he ordered that all the paintings as well as the sculptures and works of art be wrapped boxed and carried to safe places. A fun fact about this museum is that it would take you around 200 days to see approximately 35,000 works of art on display at the museum if you took 30 seconds to see each and every piece.
Another surprising fact is that Mona Lisa was stolen in 1911 by an eminent Italian handyman when it had not yet captured the attention of millions. You would be surprised to know that Pablo Picasso was even a suspect until there was an attempt to sell the painting to an Italian art dealer who alerted the authorities and that's how Mona Lisa was recovered and now had become the most famous painting in the world. Hi guys. Just wanted to give you an update. We have been roaming in Southern Museum since last 2 hours. We can't even tell how much did we finish so far. But anyways, we'll be roaming inside it uh, for another 1 to 2 hours maximum. But anyways, just to give you the proper information of uh the Mona Lisa, we got a glimpse of it. It's really awesome. Do you know that the world has two Louvre museums? Apart from the one in Paris, in 2016, Abu Dhabi finished constructing the second one. The Iron Pie Pyramid you see here is not the only pyramid at the museum. In fact, there are a total of five. Three of them are the small glass pyramids surrounding the main one. The Arc de Triomphe was begun in 1806 on the orders of Napoleon I to honor the victories of his Grand Army. Inspired by the great arches of antiquity, this iconic monument bears the names of battles and generals from the Revolution and the First Empire. This is all about this episode. On the next episode, you will discover an ossuary containing the remains of several million Parisians, the catacombs of Paris. But until then, hasta la vista.